Hey, how's it going? This is Grow Food SA. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to regrow pineapple. So there's a couple of different like uh, fruits and veggies that you're able to like grow back from store-bought veggies. So I uh, tried checking it out, look research online. There's a, a bunch of different examples on where to do it. Some kind of work a little bit easier than others. But one of my favorite ones that I always end up doing is uh, working with pineapples. So let's take a look at that. So this is a really easy thing to do with pineapple that you buy from the store. This is already going to be a waste product anyway whenever you cut it off. So basically whenever you're cutting both ends of the um, pineapple, you know you'd remove your top here. And so you would take this top and you would cut out these edges here. Kind of, so there's different ways to do it. You can either leave a little bit of this core here, or you can cut this core completely off here. I'm gonna, for this experiment today, I'm gonna leave a little bit of this core and see if maybe some of the roots are able to grow a little bit faster. Um, the next thing that you would do is you need to remove the bottom layer of um, these uh, leaves here. So as you can see, I've already kind of removed some. So that's real easy. You can just kind of grab a couple of them, pull them off, just like that. Sometimes these will be the ones that kind of look not as well, so it's good to prune it and trim it up that way. What you want is kind of a little open core in here like this. So what we're going to do next is you want to find like a little jar. So this is a jar that I use for germination a lot of plants and things like that. I like it because it's it's um, size of the lid right here is perfect for whenever I set the pineapple in there, it, it kind of sits right on that flare. And so I want that water level to be somewhere right around at the top of the pineapple. So I'm going to pour some of that out. All right, that's about where I want it. You want to make sure you change out this water pretty frequently because this is organic matter so it's going to start decomposing some parts of it in the water and there's going to be kind of bacteria and decomposers that are in here and so it's really important that you change out the water maybe every day every other day um, i always like to put it on a window seal put it in somewhere where you got uh, sunlight that it can get to and i like to put it on my kitchen window seal because that allows me to see it every day whenever i'm in the kitchen and I can change out the water really easily with the water just being right there. Um, you want to let this maybe sit for a couple weeks, sometimes up to a month, um, until you really see any kind of root system develop out of here. You'll start to see little roots kind of um, jolting out of here. Um, you can continue to kind of keep it in here and let some of the roots develop so it'll be even a stronger plant. Or you can um, plant it kind of as soon as you start to see multiple of the root systems kind of growing out of there. So planting in the ground be pretty easy too. So whenever this actually develops its root system, you start to see a couple of the roots coming out. Really, you just want a little bit of a hole that's about the size of um, this little nodule here. Um, and so it doesn't really take a lot, you know, dig out your hole, kind of put it on in and then bury it on back on around. You want it to just come up to about where those leaves are starting to kind of form. You can go maybe a little bit up that stalk a little bit more. But that's often pretty good. So here's one that I've already kind of planted in this area. It's not doing so good. So this one was already kind of um, whenever I got it from the store it was looking pretty bad um, but sometimes they'll pull on through um, if anything they're just going to kind of rot in the ground and uh, it would have done that in the compost anyway so it's not a loss and sometimes you get something out of it so here's a pineapple that I'm growing this is in my kind of tropical guild there's a banana and papaya and this is on the south facing side of my house so it gets a lot of sun full sun um, just get some protection from the banana above um, and it seems to be working out pretty well um, normally I'll have some 
trouble kind of growing these but uh, if you can find the right spot um, you can grow these and these will take about two years until it produces the pineapple um, so it takes quite a while but in the meantime what you really you can just enjoy the plant for kind of what it is it's a nice um, uh, kind of succulent looking plant and it's really interesting so in about two years this little stalk will grow up right out of here and then there'll be a small pineapple it's maybe only about that big on there maybe about half the size sometimes of the one that you got from the store um, I've heard that it'll like smell pretty um, pineapple-y in the area there so I'm kind of looking forward to that um, but one thing that we got to look out for um, sometimes is freezes so freezes and things like that will sometimes knock out your tropical plants um, this one it was kind of saved by a greenhouse um, that was built over this area um, so growing it in a container possibly might be another option or just again trying to make sure that you're growing it in a in your kind of warmest sunniest spot so good luck